So greetings aspiring surgeons and fellow trainees. On behalf of our team, I welcome you back on our advanced suturing course and thank you for joining us in part 15. Today we are delving deep into a technique that is a game changer in the world of suturing, the Gamby stitch. So friends, the Gamby stitch is known for its versatility and strength. Is a fundamental skill for any surgeon. So whether you are a seasoned surgeon looking to enhance your skills or just beginning to explore the intricacies of suturing you are in the right place and before we dive in remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss a episode of our comprehensive suturing course all right let's get started i'll walk you through each step of gambi stitch from needle placement to knot tying you will learn the ins and outs of it this technique and why it is a must know for any surgery trainee and by the end of this episode you will be able to perform the gambi stitch with confidence and adding another essential tool to your surgical toolkit friends i have already discussed about gambi stitch in our previous video series that was stichoplasty and pyloroplasty and we have discussed theoretically and uh, uh, demonstrated the live surgery also so many of you have requested again to upload the gambi stitch in the playlist of this basic and advanced suturing so here we are so friends the gambi stitch is a interrupted single layer suture which invert the mucosa into lumen and basically it's implied where you are having some difficulty you are dealing with some like a scarred or fibrous tissue and uh, they are the edges are friable so uh, to add a added uh, security uh, this uh, gambi stitch is a beautiful uh, addition to your arm armamentarium so there are four parts just understand the theory then we will demonstrate step by step so first suture is brought uh, full thickness from outside to in then you take a reverse stitch and only take part of the mucosa and some mucosa and third pass is again uh, you have to reverse the direction of needle and you part take part of some mucosa and mucosa and fourth uh, pass is again full thickness from mucosa to sub mucosa and all these sutures are taken in a interrupted manner so for the ease of demonstration as all of our video tutorials are meant for uh, junior trainees who are just entering into the field of surgery so uh, like uh, first stitch we have color coded these uh, sutures uh, passes so first is black then yellow green followed by red so first stitch as i said is through and through from serosa to uh, mucosa and uh, this uh, we have demonstrated in the pyloroplasty so just imagine the the stomach serosa is towards your right side and towards the upper part of screen then we reverse the needle then we take part of the mucosa sub mucosa and i have already said many times that always take the sub mucosa in the uh, suture bite to because this is the strongest layer then uh, you take another bite in a reverse direction that is the sub mucosa and uh, mucosa and fourth pass is again full thickness that is from uh, mucosa to uh, serosa and friends for better learning experience please download our app available for android and ios and join the telegram group for all the updates the link for everything is available in the description of this video do check them out for all the premium access you can join our channel membership also so friends uh, this video as i said i have already uh, showcased in my uh, stichoplasty pyloroplasty series so this was a 41 year old male he is a known marijuana addict alcoholic he had a history of cross tube injection and during uh, dilatation he had intravenous perforation so uh, during this uh, i mean uh, episode we were plan him for the uh, this uh, pyloroplasty and feeding genostomy followed later on by followed later on by definite procedure that will be uh, colonic conduit for uh, this uh, dysphagia uh, the complete video will be available uh, on our app and in the members only section as the minimum amount of blood shown in these videos will go against the community guidelines on youtube and the whole video will be uh, basically debarred from any uh, monetization from youtube side so again i'll not touch upon the uh, basic uh, procedure of pyloroplasty that you can check out check out on our uh, previous episode and uh, the link for same i'll share in the description and here in the i cards also so uh, that part we will fast forward and we will showcase only uh, the uh, gambi stitch in this video 
and uh, for complete video do check out our sexoplasty pyloroplasty series so after giving the incision and taking the stage stage, uh, stage, stage uh, first we lay open this strictures pylorus part so here we have taken the first bite and we have come out from serosa to mucosa 5 cm apart keep around 1 cm and uh, don't apply another layer of serosal suture to buttress the gambi stitch otherwise it will lead to the excessive inversion and may cause narrowing if you have any concern then you may apply one or two stitches over this gambi stitch but not as a rule that you have to apply them and cover the whole uh, gambi stitch layer uh, so use your discretion uh, use your discretion wisely as i said uh, do download our app for better learning experience and keep practicing and every stitch you make brings you one step closer to mastery embrace the challenge embrace the journey and become the skilled surgeon you aspire to be so thank you very much for uh, watching friends stay connected happy learning thank you very much